In this video, let's talk about old school SEO. Is it still relevant? Does the old ways of doing things still work? This is Jared Ballman, right? I think he has one of the best videos on YouTube for topical clusters, content hubs, crystallization, whatever you want to call it for creating articles, right? He's part of Niche Pursuits. Have you seen this awesome YouTube channel? It's been around for ages. But this is where we're going to focus on. Jared has a personal YouTube channel and this video right here, this right here, the amount of value in this video is incredible. Make sure to subscribe to his channel. So check this out. I think you're going to like this a lot. This is Jared explaining how they do silos. And if you can do silos well, you're going to take your blog to the next level. Built 10 links to the Cornerstone page, added internal links to all 63 supporting articles, added internal links to three related revenue pages, and added 53 internal links to the Cornerstone article. All right, so what is the what is the commonality here? Look, internal links, internal links, internal links. This is old school SEO. Look at this structure right here. Do you see this, how everything connects? This is exactly what I do with our blogs, and, and the results are crazy. So this is Bonsai Mary. This is Google Search Console, right? This is what it looks like right now. We are posting, I think it is about five posts a day, and I'm burying it. And I'll show you how we're doing it. But nonetheless, over the last, what is it, six months? We're doing good. This is 100% AI content, right? This is an age domain, something I bought and then built it up. We're hitting, you know, 150, call it, per, per day, right? And it's growing. The hub that we're focusing on right now, Philodendron, check this out. We built this out, and I'm going to show you through example how you can do topical clusters, a very simple conceptual thing. And I'll give you the thing. I'll give you this sheet right here if you want it so you can do it yourself. But nonetheless, this is a hub. This is a tight hub. This is where you can really take your game to the next level because you can create content like never before, but if you do not do it the right way, it doesn't matter. So how did we do it? Check it out. So we have a tier one article and we have tier two articles. Do you remember that, that, that this right here? All right. A cornerstone article for me is a tier one and all these down here are tier two. You can disregard the revenue page. That has more so to do with when you have a client, you're working for a client and you have a money page, a revenue page. But nonetheless, this right here, look, we have articles on every single type of philodendron. What does that actually look like? Um, I can go in here. Let's do philodendron. I have 137 articles on philodendron, right? I can click on any of them any of them. The ultimate guide to philodendron, this one right here. And this is what it looks like. And this is how they are ranking these articles right here. And they're all represented in tier two articles right here. But this is our tier one article, this right here. And as you can see, if I pull up the headers, right, these are all H2s. Pretty much every philodendron we talk about is represented. And it's talked about briefly. Why? It ties them all together via internal links is exactly what Jared is talking about. Make sure to watch his video. It's a great basis for watching this one right here. I'm going to teach you how to do it, how I do it, and give you that sheet. But nonetheless, if I click here for this type of philodendron, we go down. We go down into the tier two. Now, our next step, right, we have to take all of these articles. I'm going to show you. All of these articles right here, these tier two articles, should also be pointing up to the main one, the main article being the types, this one right here. So in other words, there's a reciprocation, right? This right here, everything should reciprocate. Do you see how the arrows go both ways? The tier two article represented as S1 right here points to the tier one and it reciprocates. This ties everything together and this is a good foundation to lay your website on. So let's take it a step further. So this is the drafted pages, 128 drafted articles with AI content writing. It's so easy to create content. You need to figure out how to structure it, right? This matters more, I think, nowadays. Nonetheless, we have about 380 published, 128 drafted. And as you can see, we've moved on to ZZ plants, a, di a different type of plant. Look down here. We have ZZ plants. We have Syngonium. We have uh, Philodendron. We're working on right now. The hub is Ficus, right? Once you show, show success at a thing, just rinse and repeat it. Just try to turn the screw as much as possible on a thing. But nonetheless, check this out. I want to show you exactly how we created this uh, tier one article for um, the philodendron. I said, write on each of these about their appearance and why they are unique. And then it came back with this. I was like, nah, keep going. That's not going to work. And then I said, rewrite, start with the name, then a brief description, then bullet points of these things. And it did okay but I think I had to ask it for eventually Markdown. I said, keep going, but follow this format. Use Markdown and make um, this type of portion H2. It's, it's amazing how ChatGPT is able to take this, right? And all I had to do 
was drag, 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 copy and paste right into this article. We had a nice introduction, write a nice intro, and then just copy and paste these suckers in, link down to your tier twos, put some YouTube, I mean, we put some YouTube in here, and all of a sudden we have a mega article. Look, I can scroll down for days, and all of these effectively link down to, where is it at? Philodendron done. All of these, the types of philodendron link down to all of these, right? Easy peasy. So I want to show you in practice a totally different niche so you can kind of see how this can work with any niche. So let's say you had a blog on Japan, like a travel blog, right? Japan, great. I have Ahrefs, Keyword Explorer. I go to matching terms here. And I type over here, include best. You can also do top, but these are perfect tier one articles. I'll show you why. So the best time to visit Japan, uh, best places to visit in Japan, best things to do in Japan. So let's say we wanted to rank for best things to do in Japan, and you can rinse and repeat this idea with any type of niche. Best things to do in Japan, we have this one, high competition, by the way, uh, TripAdvisor. They are saying the best things to do in Japan is all these different things. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this. Let's push it to chat GPT. Let's do a new chat. I'm going to say uh, right here, boom. And I'm going to take these. I'm going to say, Let's take these right here. This is the second SERP, best things to do in Japan. They have 54 best things to do in Japan. Jeez Louise, they've already done my concept. They've already done this concept. They've already taken from other competitors. All right, great, 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 great. So what we're gonna do, one more, one more, we're gonna take right here. And what we want to do is create a mega tier one article, right? So let's hit ChatGPT if my computer stops lagging because we have like a million headers. So what we're going to ask ChatGPT to do, we're going to say, oh my goodness gracious, I'm going to say, uh, take those lists above and collate them and make sure to give me a master list of unique things to do in Japan. The more, the better, but make sure no duplicates. And let's see what it does, right? So what we're going to do, and here it goes, we want everything they're talking about right? Everything they're talking about and more. And this can easily be a tier one article, right? I'm going to say rewrite it and make it um, in your own words. Each thing um, represent each thing. Just make it in a new set of words. All right. So why am I doing this? Um, I mean, it's not doing exactly what I want because those are not um, headers, but we paste it in competitor's headers, right? I don't want my headers to be my competitor's headers. We need unique ones. I'm going to say rewrite and make them tighter sentences that would work for H2 headers. All right. So, I mean, we have right now, we have 50 plus 16 plus 19. I mean, that's quite a few, right? Um, that last prompt didn't work, but what we could do in effect, if these say were unique, right? If these were unique right here, what I then could do, I could come over here to say Claude and say, write a little bit about each of these, All right? I don't know if it's gonna, okay, cool. And so what we're gonna be able to do, look at this. It's just gonna go a little bit about each. So I don't think that's enough, right? I think. I needed to give it a better prompt. So what we can do is come back to ChatGPT, write on each of these, um, have the H2 be the, the place, talk about why it's great there, and give three bullet points for each. Tier one articles are not hard to do. Um, not hard to do at all. So I'm gonna say rewrite Rewrite and make sure each has a intro paragraph to um, tell the reader why this place is great to visit. All right. Um, and then you could say, look, that's really good right there. Right. That's good. That's perfect. What you're seeing right here is how I've ranked really hard terms. I'm going to say rewrite and make the places h2 with markdown what you're seeing here is exactly what i did um what i was able to do for one of our clients i was able to put in some chat gbt stuff into one of their hubs uh with their consent of course 
and it ranked really darn well. Why does it rank really darn well? And I think that's the secret. We can create articles faster than ever, but how you internally link and structure your website means that you can be the topical authority faster than ever before. You need to niche down, niche super far down. In my opinion, you need to dominate a sector at a time. Just exhaust a certain portion of your niche. Like talk about every place to visit in Japan. Like talk about more than everyone. You know, after we listed the 89, we could have asked ChatGPT, what else could we have talked about? We could have come up with 150 places. And then we have 150 articles plus the tier one article. Do you see how this works? Rinse and repeat.